Look at this, you have it all set up for us. Yes, we do. Good for you. So talk about some of the materials here that you use. Absolutely. A lot of the things I use, I use a lot of birch bark, and birch bark is very fascinating because it not only is it completely resilient, but it has many different shades and Look colorations. Each layer has its own subtle shade. And it, it, they will be red, sometimes oh, green, that. lavender. It all depends. It depends on where they grow. It oh, depends on that. when they die. That's incredible. Sometimes so you have a lot to work with. Yes. And so you only use um, birch bark that has died, right? Yes, we Obviously. only use dead and down with whatever we make. Okay. And so what else do we have going here? Okay, well, these are, of course, just pieces of of a stick, a larger mm -hmm. stick. Um, sometimes we use roots, parts of branches. Um, this is f the curly cues from frost grape. We oh. also use, if you'll excuse me, we sure. also use pieces of frost grape, especially for making the furniture mm -hmm. because it's flexible. Yeah, it's strong. Viable. It's very, very straight. Oh, look at that! And it peels easily, and it's very strong. All right. So we're going to start by making a birdhouse today. Absolutely. So what's the first step then? What do we got to do? Okay. First step is picking out the materials we want to use. Okay. We're going to use this as the base and this will be what you're going to use oh. for your stock. Pick out what you'd like. Oh, I like this guy. Yes, he's in a good way. Yeah. These small pieces will be what the top sets okay. on. Okay. So let's do that. Okay. And I think the larger one would look better for this. This will yes. be the actual house itself, and we always oh, have really? an assortment. Yes. And then we will pick a piece that we will use as the roof. You can use an acorn oh, for a top. Oh, let me see that. Oh, I do like that. I like it. Okay. I do. All right. Let's 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 go with that. Let's do it. First thing you're going to do is decide which way you want it to stand. So what you do is you pick it up. Glue the base. Tell me how much I need. Just give, be generous. Be generous. Really? It doesn't matter if it comes out around it because you're going to cover it with all these pretty little materials. Okay, good. Okay, your next step is you're going to be putting on the base that holds the house. And what is this? That is actually a piece of an old pack basket. Really? Mm-hmm. It's one of the, the slats and it's just cut. So what would you suggest for people starting out that maybe want to like you know, try their hand at doing a birdhouse or another form of rustic miniatures? Well, we do a lot of recycling, so we just kind of look around a lot of times and see what would be. But if you want, you can go to a hardware or a store and buy perhaps balsa wood. Yeah. Because that cuts very easily, you can cut it with an exacto. Oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. And then you could even go to a craft store for some now of the before, decorations. Yes, before you put the house on, you have to have the hole for the bird. Oh, okay. I'm getting carried away here with yes. the little gun. <laughs> you can do that part. So you pick your side and you simply do that. Bring you just keep there. carving away until you have a nice little hole. Okay. Now, before you put it on there, you want to put the top on. Okay. And I chose the acorn you top. You did. So what I would do is I would put a generous amount here set this down and then I would also run that around the rim. Okay. Okay? So now I get to glue this right on top of this base? Yes. Okay. And should I do it on the bottom of this? Absolutely. Okay. Let's see, we can put another piece of glue in here, so. Yes, and be okay. sure to be generous. All right, sounds good. All right, wait, where's my hole? I gotta make sure that's facing out, right? Mm-hmm. Good thing I remember that, Donna. You were going to forget to tell me that. Well, because you can do it in any way you want. I mean, That's this could true. be the front or even this if you wanted a long, narrow one. That's true. I better stick with standard here, though. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not get carried away. <laughs> All right, what are we going to decorate this with? Bring out some mosses of different types. Okay. Make it look really natural. Okay. So your first step is you decide the place where you want to start. Okay. And you'll want to cover up the glue. On a stalk. So how long do these usually take you? Oh, they don't take very long. No. You want to make sure you push that tight in there. Mm -hmm. And that you cover the front and all the glue if possible. Let's add a shelf fungus. Oh, perfect. 
we add a little dab of glue mm -hmm. and then you just put it in place hold Aww. it for a moment yeah see now it's like getting a lot of dimension and more character absolutely mm -hmm. it is fun decorating it is fun I mean we were saying earlier that obviously the patients you know you gotta have patience for something like this but it can also be a good stress reliever too if you're yes. not doing it all the time I think the birdhouse is just plain fun yeah so we could continue with this all day for another couple hours and that would really complete this. Yes. But we don't have enough time. So, but you can really see it coming together. How long does it typically take you to do one birdhouse? Oh, it takes me usually about an hour and a half, but then I'm used to it. But you're used to it, right. Feel free to use any other materials, little sticks to make logs, stones, whatever strikes you. And look at even the little leaves up here. They look like little dried leaves. Is that what they are? Absolutely. And some of them are, are pieces of lichen. Well, you are very talented, Donna. Thank you. We've seen some great stuff by you today. Thank you so much for having us. I'm so glad you could come. And I'll see you soon, okay? Great. And uh, let me know when you finish with that birdhouse, okay? And I'll come pick it up. I will. Thanks. Okay.